This is actually quite a familiar sight to anyone following the series chronologically. So one after another. Uh, we are at the Weatherby Investment Trust. It's otherwise known as the Baxter Building. And it's just beside, you guessed it, Valenti Station. One of my favourite unmarked locations in the game. Let's get it on the map so you know exactly where we are south of the old North Church. But in fact, considered part of the financial district and not... Uh, north End. Now, in order to access it, you'll have to nip through this bus, conveniently smashed in half. I'm not too sure how that occurred, but it's still pretty awesome. Uh, one side, we've got a convenience store where you can pick up a load of bottles, brew, and uh, general goodies. There tends to be a hound here. The raider is always dead, and you can pick up usually quite a nice automatic laser press. That'd be pretty good. And lots of pre-war money. It seems he was doing a wee bit of raiding, but... Uh, it's actually a cool thing to see the cash register is empty, you know, given it that's where he got it from uh, before uh, a mongrel got him. Now, normally mongrels are friendly to the raiders, so there is a chance that something else happened. Maybe there was a booby trap in here, and that's what caused the demise of the raider there. So, after you pick up all your supplies, there is a Slocum Joe's just across the way, although there is no signage that I can see it is implied in the wiki well it's just specifically said that there is one I didn't even notice the safe when I was going through so now you also know there's a safe an advanced lock terminal that I have no memory as to what it does so I'm just gonna unlock it for simplicity oh it controls the safe that's pretty awesome okay there you go boom so Use the terminal if you're more of a sciencey person. A lot of pre-war money in that. Very nice. A few Boston Bugles that would have been sitting having a nice wee coffee in the early morning. Obviously in the financial district, you kind of know what this place would have been like. You know, all the hustle and bustle early in the morning before taking the elevator. Now, there is another Weatherby Trust. And it is connected to a another site in the game. Just across the way towards Bunker Hill, you guessed it, the USS Constitution. And you do know that if you go along that quest line, it's not a spoiler, it's what, like seven years after the game released, uh, that you can basically get the ship to fly, but it doesn't go the whole way, it ends up hitting, uh, <laughs> smashing into this building, which was another Weatherby Investment Trust. Now, there is nothing of value up here at all. I don't even think there's anything in the filing cabinets that you can find. Anything in the drawer? No. Nope. Everything picked clean. So obviously this would have been more the corporate offices, whilst the Weatherby Trust that it is sitting, or well, bank that it, the USS Constitution is currently sitting on, is more of just a, you know, a wee regional uh, bank. This would have been more corporate. Now, the thing about it is, a lot of this building sustained heavy damage, which makes me think, was it like partially under construction? Because a lot of the top part is missing, as you're about to see, and uh, yeah. There ain't a lot going on here, but it does give you a really good view. If you have a jet pack, yeah, be careful if you're going to do that. That, that kind of, ooh, and I wonder is there anything about here? Nope, it looks to me like you probably shouldn't have been able to drop down. Uh, you can see the Boston Airport over in the distance. Several of the other uh, nearby buildings, Fanuel, Fanuel Hall. Um, you can see the damage sustained to most of the skyscrapers in the skyline here is uh, pretty drastic. Not many of them survived. Now, if we could look out the other side, which I'm going to just do a wee flan command. I was going to jump there. Uh, I was going to fall straight down. It's not how that works. Anything in the elevator shaft? Anything uh, down below inside of the building? Nope. Not a lot going on. It's pretty, it's, uh, pretty hollow down there. But if we look across, you can see the USS Constitution over in the distance near Bunker Hill. Do the quest, it'll fly, smash into here, and then that's why the elevator is available up here for you to access the ship. Prior to that, there is absolutely nothing up here. And if we go all the way to the roof, because, you know, we've got to do that completionist thing, uh, there's nothing up here on the ledge. I thought we would have found something, but all I've found is extreme frame rate drops when I'm up here. Uh, so, yeah, that's all I encounter. See the mass fusion building. And, uh, yeah, it's probably, is it the fourth? It's probably the fourth tallest building in the game. It'd be mass fusion, trinity tower, and then I 
think that's the... Don't tell me, I know this one. That's the... Dor uh, oh no, it's not. Oh, it's way south. I thought it was the Dartmouth Professional Building, but I don't think it is. I wonder what that building is. Harbour Master Hotel, is it? Huh. Not actually too sure. If you know, let me know in the comments below. So, that pretty much concludes Weatherby Bank. Or, well, Trust or their corporate HQ. It covers all that. And you know the USS Constitution, Constitution smashes into it. Uh, yeah. Let's move on deeper into the financial district, deeper into deep frame rate drops. We have plenty of things to see. Special shout out to all my channel supporters and members keeping the dream alive here. Thank you so much and uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.